Hello, it's Stelios from Batman Studios, and today I am going to be reviewing the Lego Harry Potter The Rise of Voldemort set. It is recommended for ages 7 and up. It is set number 75965. And let's get into the set. So, getting on to the packaging of the set. As you can see, it has the artwork of Harry, Ron and Hermione in the top right hand corner. It has the Wizarding World down in the bottom right hand corner. With the Lego Harry Potter logo here. And then we have a little picture of what the set looks like. And of course it shows the mini because it comes with... Here we have what the set can do. Like, you can put Voldemort underneath um, the playset so he can pop up when he rises. And, keep, and you can also trap Harry um, in the gravestone, I think I would say. Or well, the gravestone can trap Harry. I don't really know how to describe it. Hmm. Moving the tripod down a little bit so we can look at the instructions. Um, they... They don't really have advertisements for the other Lego Harry Potter sets, which that's kind of sad. I was hoping to see some advertisements for the other Harry Potter sets. But um, let's just get into the set itself. So, here is the graveyard, the main build of the set. This is based on the scene in the Goblet of Fire, where... Harry is transported to the graveyard and Peter Pettigrew resurrects Voldemort. So let's get into the playset. So we have some gravestones over here with some vines. And we also have some dead bushes. This gravestone, I really like the Easter egg on here. Not an Easter egg as in the thing you eat, but like an Easter egg we're not referring to the actual egg itself it's just like a nice little reference and in this case the deathly hollows sign is on the gravestone i thought that's really nice <laughs> we also have another gravestone here with our grey frog on the top which is a new colour for that frog piece then we just have a normal um round tile here representing a normal gravestone and also we have Tom Riddle Senior's grave here which there's a really neat play feature if you take Harry and you put him on here you can actually trap him as the um, gravestone falls off see you can trap him just like the movie I think that's a really funny um play feature and there's a lot of fun play features here in this set the other one being this one so there's a little flap open so you can put this this tripod tops really loose today I'm sorry if the video is a little bit shaky so you can put Voldemort underneath and That was a little bit of a fail let's try that again so he can rise from the dead hmm. moving on to the set here we have the little cauldron that Voldemort is resurrected in as little baby Voldemort falls out as you can see we have like little baby Voldemort wrapped in a black cloak like the movie which they're using that they're using that series um 15 baby piece and they're recolouring it here i think that's really cool they also have so, like some little um i guess you could say like we have the bone of the father um i think that that grey hand is supposed to be flesh of the servant. Anyone who's seen Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire will know what I'm referring to. 
And if that is um, Pettigrew's hand, that's kind of dark. I'm not going to say it's not dark. That is really dark. And also, Blood of the Enemy. Anyone who's seen Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, as I said before, will know what I'm referring to. And then, you just put little baby Voldemort in the cauldron. And he can be resurrected. And that's pretty much all I can say. I'm not one of the most descriptive persons. Not one of the most descriptive people. I don't know why I said it like that. And now let's get on to my favourite part of the set. The mini stickers. Mm, let's start off with harry potter yeah the camera's focusing now so he has the brandy mid legs from the lego harry potter series which is really height accurate because for the first two harry potter films he was quite short because he was a child and around prisoner of azkaban is when he got a little bit taller so he wasn't so he isn't as short as he is in um the wave one sets sets that were made for the philosopher's stone and chamber of secrets but he's not as tall as he is as some of the professors so he also has an exclusive um torso I think that's really nice, it, and it has Potter on the back. Um, I really like the recolour of this hairpiece. It, it is Lloyd Garmadon's hairpiece from the Lego Ninjago movie, but in black. I think that's really useful. And also, he has two faces. He has this face, where it's like... As Harry falls down... So as I was saying, if the camera can focus, so as I was saying, he has one face where he is happy and determined, and another face where he is just determined. I think I'm gonna leave him with this face. Oh, and he also has his wand, and I also I guess you could count this as an accessory. He comes with the Tri Wizard Cup, which. I don't know, I kind of like the Triwizard Cup they had in the Lego Harry Potter minifigure series. I think that's a little bit more accurate to the movie. But this isn't really a bad build. I'm just saying that the one they had in the minifigure series is better. So, let's move on to the next one. We have Lord Voldemort. He has a recolour of the dress piece, but in... Um, black he has his white wand he has an exclusive torso which if I'm correct I think this might be a recolour of the one from the Lego Harry Potter minifigure series but the only difference is that this time he has a black robe with dark green details as well as like a little v-neck from the robe and also some back printing that face however this is a creepy face, uh, however it definitely isn't a bad Voldemort face, I'm just saying this is a little bit creepy. Also, he obviously he has two slits for his nose because even though Lego doesn't print noses, Voldemort technically doesn't have a nose as they're just two slits so they can print on his nose. But moving on to the next minifigure we have Peter Pettigrew and he's somewhere as a minifigure so many Harry Potter references anyone who's watched all of the Harry Potter movies will know where I'm getting all of these references from so he has some really nice legs like they're really detailed he has a really nice torso it's very detailed he has some really nice back printing he has two accessories he has a dark van wand like harry's oh and he also has a knife which is really dark because spoilers for god of fire i think i'm just giving away spoilers when i reference the film 
in the movie, he cuts off his right hand so he can use it to resurrect Voldemort. And in return, Voldemort gives him a brand new hand and he uses a knife. That's kind of dark. His hairpiece is not new over. And I think they should have done a new hairpiece because, I don't know, this hairpiece doesn't fit Voldemort. But he does have two faces. He has this face. And he also has kind of a frightened face. So, let's move on to the final minifigure. And that final minifigure is the Death Eater. He has the same dress piece as Voldemort. He has a brand new torso. It's really nice and detailed. He has a recolour of the wizard hat, but in black. He has a kind of a scary face, but definitely not as scary as Voldemort's. Or, oh, and he has a black wand. Let's just put, on, put everything back onto the table. And then we will move on to the final verdict. So, as a whole, um, I think that this is a really fun set. There's a lot of fun play features. I really like um, the fact how um, what you can do with Voldemort. Um, I'm not really descriptive in this video. I don't know. Maybe I'll be a little bit better with my next video which I'm actually filming afterwards because I'm going to school in two days. Tomorrow is my final day of my summer holidays and then unfortunately I'm going back to school so I want to get as much content out as I can, like at least one video today and tomorrow. So this video is actually getting a bit long. I'm going to tell you my thoughts and then I've got to um, film, on, film the next video. I cannot speak. So, this is a really fun set. I really like the play futures where you can put Harry in the gravestone and you can, um, or make the gravestone hold Harry. I also like the play future you can do with Voldemort rising from the dead. So, overall, I give this set about a 7 out of 10. Not a bad set, but not one of the gooder sets like this is a good set don't get me wrong i would recommend it but i don't know i don't know i honestly don't know what to say i'm not really descriptive but yeah thank you and i will see you in the next video goodbye and have a nice day